So the fern is made up from lots of fronds wired together onto a single stem and each one is wired and I've got 28 gauge wires which I've cut into four. And I'm going to use some flower paste that I've coloured pale green with some gooseberry green paste colour. And I'm going to roll out some of this. So I don't want it to be too thin because I want to be able to stick a wire into it. So I'm using the fern cutter and to begin with I'm not cutting out the whole length of it because I need to graduate the sizes of these. So to make some of these smaller, I'm going to use the cutting wheel. So that will be my first one. And then I'll do a pair that are a little bit shorter. And then gradually let them get a little bit longer as I'm cutting them. I'm always keeping them in pairs. So I've got an odd one here. So this will be on when I start cutting out from the next batch that I roll out, I'll do one to match that one. So I need to grip each one tightly between my thumb and my finger and then press the wire into it. So the wire should go in so that it's completely um, inside the leaf. So I'm going to rest that on a veiner and press the top half of the veiner down and then pinch it in at the base. And then I put them in a stand to dry and as I put them in the stand I keep them in the same formation so I keep the pairs together so that I know where they're going to go when I come to tape them together. If you want to, you can actually thin out the edges of these with a balling tool. But I find actually just um, pressing it in the veiner seems to thin it a little bit. And it makes it very time consuming if you ball each one as well with a balling tool. It's already quite time consuming by how many of the fronds that you have to make for each leaf. And I don't roll and cut too many at a time because you'll find that they start to dry too quickly and then you can't stick the wire into them without them cracking. So now I need to roll out some more. So as these are going to be a bit longer, I've rolled out a bit more paste. So that's going to be the one to match the one I had left over from the first batch that I rolled out. So I'm going to have these two a bit longer and then I'll leave the last two to be the full length.
So when you press the wire in, it needs to go at least halfway up the leaf to give some support to it. So when all the fronds are made, they need to be left to dry completely before they're coloured. And to colour them, I'm going to use some gooseberry green paste colour, which I'm going to mix with some water. And then I'm going to brush this over both sides of the leaf. If you do it before they've dried, the leaf absorbs too much moisture and they'll fall off the wires, so they do need to be completely dry. And when you paint it, the colour runs into the veining, so it shows up the veining a little bit more. So it's looking a little bit light, I'm just going to make it a bit of a stronger colour. And then you need to leave them to dry completely before you assemble them. So my first few that I've got in the stand here are dry, so I can start putting them together. You need to take the centre one, and then they need to go alternately on either side. So I'm bending with a pair of tweezers, just to bend it out to one side. And then I start taping. break the tape off and then I can actually pull the wires so that the one that's lower down is sitting right on top of the tape and then I can pull the middle one so it's a good height. Now this one is going to go on the other side so I need to bend it the other way And I'm going to put that one slightly lower down. And again, I can pull the wire when I find the right one. Not that one. It's that one. So that the leaf is sitting right on top of the taping. Then I'm going to put one onto the right side again. And just pull it down so it's sitting at the edge top of the tape. And then one on the left. So that one is slightly lower. If you find the main stem is getting too thick, you can cut off some of the wires. If it's feeling that the whole stem is moving too much, it's not strong enough, you could tape in a 24 gauge wire to strengthen it. But you just keep adding these fronds in the same way alternating them from side to side until you get the fern to the length that you want it. And what's nice about this is when you've got it to the length that you want it, because each frond is wired individually, you can curve it around or you can shape it to how you want it. So you can make it look quite natural in an arrangement.